There you go. There it is. Welcome back, everybody. Folks, my next guest tonight is a nurse, a pastor, and an activist who last year became the first African-American congresswoman from the great state of Missouri. Please welcome uh, Congresswoman Cori Bush. Of course, we've spoken before. I interviewed you once before over Zoom yes. during the height of COVID. So nice to have you in person. I know, in person is so different. We got the audience and the energy. <laughs> we don't have to wait for the internet yeah. lag between the two of us. Last week, was there was a historic moment. Yes. Uh, Katanji Brown Jackson became the first African-American woman <laughs> to be named to the Supreme Court. You were at this White House celebration I was. last Friday. What what are you are gonna what are you gonna take with you? What are you gonna remember from that historic day? So first of all, the day before the weather in DC was gloomy and drizzling and you know, it was so cold. By eleven o'clock that night I was still out walking around and it was just freezing and I'm wondering what is the next day going to be like, you know, for this this ceremony that is supposed to be this joyous experience and the next day the weather was so beautiful. It was sunny, almost hot. Um, and so as we walked onto the garden at the White House, the band was playing, and it was just the most amazing feeling. And uh, I remember, so I was seated in the third row, right behind the first lady. Um, and she was on the first row, I was on the third. And then um, Katanji Brown Jackson's husband was just a few uh, seats over from the first lady. And I remember, when she was speaking, Katanji Brown Jackson, she spoke about her husband. I looked over at him and I saw this tear roll down his face. I could see the tear and I held it together the whole time. Now I'm sitting there and you know, I cry. So, but I held it together. But in that moment, I was done. I broke, I broke, I broke. <laughs> <laughs> if he goes, you go. Yes. <laughs> now, before, before you were uh, uh, in Congress, uh, among many other things, you uh, uh, a uh, born and raised in St. Louis, a yeah. uh, single mother, registered nurse, ordained pastor, but also a Black Lives Matter activist. Mm -hmm. And your Missouri colleague, <laughs> your colleague from Missouri, Representative Cleaver, said, and I want to get this right, it's a, quote, a tightrope to be able to do the agitating then come inside and negotiate. How do you balance on that, that tightrope? Because I assume you're seeing some of the people that you agitated against. Yeah, and that's okay, because that's why I chose to go to Congress, or at least to run. You know, I, I'm not taking off my activist hat to be in Congress. So I call myself a politivist. I, I coined the phrase. Um, a politivist? Politivist. It's the politician and the activist. Because that, that activist is going to push, is going to be on the ground and listen and, and um, have the courage to move things that other people might not, you know, feel comfortable moving. The politician has the pen. The politician has the power of the purse. So marrying the two says, I hear what the people need. I'm out here with the people. I make a choice to be on the ground and then also use that to inform legislation. Well, you literally... <laughs> you literally were out there on the ground because in August you occupied the Capitol steps. Ooh, here, let me, goodness. here we go. Yes. Let's get this out here. <laughs> so this was... This is representatives uh, Alexander Ocasio-Cortez, Ayanna Presley, Cori Bush, protesting e the uh, ending of the expiring of the eviction moratorium during COVID. That's what specifically you were out there to have it extended. Yes, okay. yes. So what was that like? How did the Capitol Police not give you trouble? So I won't say that, but <laughs> yeah, I won't say that. But um, so because I didn't know the moment before I chose to stay out there on those steps, we, so we didn't look up to see, like, like do you need a... Uh, what does a permit look like? You know, what can you do? What can't you do? 
So we just went in and said, you know what? They are going to put, they're putting 11 million people at risk for eviction and it's just going to happen and we're just, Congress is supposed to go on vacation? I can't do that. I know what it's like to sleep in a car with my two babies. I know what it's like to be so cold and you're wondering, like, what can happen to make you warm? I know what it's like to not be able to sleep throughout the night because I'm afraid my babies might not wake up because they're so cold. And so I couldn't imagine myself being in this position, forcing someone else into that or at least allowing it. And so, you know, we put cha- we set up some chairs and just stayed. The Capitol Police didn't even say anything at first. They, they didn't know. They came back the next day and was like, oh, yeah, you can't have chairs out here, you know? <laughs> you can stand, but you can't you have can chairs. You can stand, and, and, oh, you can't sleep. We, we slept the, day, the first day, well, we tried to. And they were like, oh, you can't sleep. You can't lay down. You can't... And so you had to just stand, sit up on that cold concrete. It rained on us. But it worked. It worked, absolutely. And the extension, <laughs> absolutely. The extension of the moratorium yes. happened. Yes. Politivist. <laughs> Politivist. <laughs> Politivist. Now, you, you often tweet, I've got this tweet right here, you often tweet, Ooh. your congresswoman, happy Saturday, your congresswoman loves you. <laughs> Who is the you that you're loving? So it starts with my people in St. Louis, but then also, my, my work is just to love humanity, everybody. You know what? I don't even care if people, if you don't vote for me, if you, you know, if you say horrible things about me. The question I have for you is, did you eat, though? You know, did you have a home? You know, that's, you say all of these things, it's okay. Like, you can attack me with those things, but my work is to make sure that you have what you need. So I just love humanity. That could be better. Thank you, Congresswoman. Thank you. Congresswoman Cory Bush, everybody. We'll be right back.